Okay, this video is to help you get started on the Desmos uh, Pythagorean Theorem investigation if you aren't in class. Okay, uh, what we've been doing, um, we looked at the Pythagorean Theorem and we said if a squared, if we have a right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, I just want to take a day to look at what happens if a squared plus b squared doesn't equal c squared. Okay, um, and you'll, you'll see as you go through the lesson what I mean. But before we do, um, you need to know that an acute triangle has three angles that are less than 90. Okay, a right triangle has one angle that's 90. That's what we've been using with the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, a right triangle. And an obtuse triangle has one angle this one right there, that's more than 90. Okay, and we're going to just uh, do some of the, the slides on this activity. We don't have as much time as um, to do the whole thing. But what we're doing, I'm probably going to start them on slide three. Um, move the sliders in the next few slides to create triangles for the given squares. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to take C, rotate square C, and rotate square B until they form a triangle. Okay, so that's slide three. I'm just getting you started. Um, here's another one. We want to rotate the squares to make a triangle. It looks like I can just rotate C and make it a triangle. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is fill in the table. A is 3. C is 5. Okay. A squared. Okay. We, we did this with the visuals. A squared is 3 times 3, 9. Okay. That's the area of the square. B squared, 4 squared. Okay, it's a 4 by 4 square. It has area 16. A C squared. Okay, that's 25. And now they want you to add A squared and B squared up. Okay, the 9 and the 16, add those up, and you get 25. Okay, and hopefully, hopefully that's coming back to you that because it's a right triangle... Okay, because it is a right triangle, we know that a squared plus b squared does equal c squared. Okay, so 9 plus 16 does equal 25. Okay, and so for the next slide, what kind of triangle do we have? That's a right triangle. Okay, triangle 2. Okay, we want to rotate the squares to make a triangle, just like before. So that's good. Okay, uh, put in the... I'm just going to light up to say triangle or not. Hang on. Okay, as good as I can get it. Okay, uh, fill, in the, fill in the chart. B, okay, angle B, A and B. Those are just the shorter ones. So... Okay, missed A. Okay, so A and B, those are the shorter sides, okay, 4 and 4. Okay, C is the longer side of your triangle, that's 5. Okay, so now let's do A squared, B squared, and C squared. A squared is 16. B squared, okay, the square of 4 is also 16. C squared is 25. Okay, and now add a squared plus b squared. Add 16 and 16, we get 32. Okay, so we're getting a squared plus b squared. Okay, it doesn't equal c squared, right? Okay, but it's greater than c squared. So what kind of triangle do we appear to have? 
Okay, that's an acute triangle. Okay, because it has one right angle. Well, because it has all acute angles. Okay, let's look at another one. And again, I'm just getting you started, and we're going to spend more time we're not going to do the whole lesson. We're just going to kind of play with this. I want you to see something really important here. Okay, rotate these triangles. Or rotate these squares to form a triangle. This one's kind of tricky to do. Your hands are probably less shaky than mine. You can probably do a better job than me. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, so let's fill in. A, B, C, A squared, B squared, and C squared. Okay, A and B are the shorter sides. So A and B are 4 and 4. C is 7. Okay, the squares of each of those would be 16, 16, and 49. And now add up A squared plus B squared. A squared plus B squared would be 16 plus 16, which is 32. So in this problem, C squared, the 49, is greater than A squared plus B squared. Okay, and we got an obtuse triangle because we have an obtuse angle right there. Okay, this is just to get you started. What I really want you guys to see um, is that if you have a triangle and a squared plus B squared equals C squared, like you've been doing, okay, you're going to get a right triangle. Okay, if C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, you're going to get a right triangle. Okay, the second triangle kind of shows, well, let me go back. If you get C squared is less than A squared plus B squared, Okay, you're not going to get a right triangle. You're going to get an acute triangle. And if, let's see, if C squared is greater than A squared plus B squared, you're going to get an obtuse triangle. Okay? And the really big picture is, guys, is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, if you have a triangle... And if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then it must be a right triangle. Okay, that's the really big idea that we're going to hone in. Okay, we're going to spend more time on that um, on Tuesday. Okay, but just play with this lesson and see if it helps you understand. If you have a triangle, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it will be a right triangle. And if it doesn't, it won't be. Okay, just uh, let me know how you're doing and just submit, submit a comment on Canvas when you're finished with this.